In this video we are back playing the new update to find the woman faces. So this video is only going to show the updated characters. For all the other ones please do see my previous video available in the playlist dedicated to this game on my channel. So for Blue Diamond at spawn you are going to need a hundred or more women faces. We also see by the waterfall the inclusion of a fishing rod and we can find troll on the drop down. So this actually goes into the abyss. I really like this and makes use of that sort of dead space you couldn't access before. If you do get stuck with any of the women faces, um, my videos do have order lists available in the video descriptions. Or please do drop me a comment, I'm more than happy to help where I can. And if I can ask if you do enjoy this video or any other from Judgment TV, if you can please help to support me by subscribing to my channel, drop me a like on this video and leave me a comment. Thank you so, so much. So this area has also received a facelift in this update and I really like it. We also find a Tiny just down by the vote board there. And they've made a nice bit of use of the group chest by placing the coin woman face inside of there as well. Moving around to the city, we now have the trampoline in the playground area. And we also find one of the traffic cones is a woman face as well. And then we find this enormous cat that I think needs to go on a bit of a diet. <laughs> Definitely been fed too much whiskers there. Making our way inside of the shop. And again, this area has had a really nice facelift as well. There's more goods, there's different styles of fridges and freezers. So this is really, really nice. Wrecking the shop there, kicking one of the torches off the shelf. We find baguettes in the sort of, I don't know, fridge, whatever that is there, the different shelves. And then with donut, this is identical to gummy bear, so you're going to have to keep collecting donut until you get the actual item itself. We find that we now have an employees only door. So I've actually already got this. This is where you will find egg. It was previously a veiled entrance, so I love that again this has had a facelift. So this employee said that they've left the keys at home. So I will show you in a bit in the video where to find the key in order to open up that door. I did think that with the inclusion of sort of the torch, the cars, the fidget spinners, that there would have been some more um, women faces hidden in the toys, but maybe that is to come in an update. Luckily the donut doesn't move around sort of the map in its entirety, it does only move around inside the store, so that is a bonus. And as I said, it's just a case of going back, finding it, going back, finding it. And there we go, we have collected the item. And then another really nice one is Pear is actually on top of the sign. So it's nice that that one isn't on the shelf um, and actually does make you sort of look for it. And then for the cash bag, the money bag, um, so you're going to need to go ahead and do the obby over the buildings. And you are going to need over 200 women faces to collect. So nice and easy, you just talk to it and then it says, can I collect you? It says, since you're so rich. So you'll also spot in the bottom right hand corner, if the developer is on the game as well, you will now get a developer badge. So this one was actually glitched for me. So the developer was online. So I just asked them what was going on with the money bag as I can't collect it. And they basically came back to say that this server was old, it was glitched, it's now been fixed. So although this didn't work for me, this will work for you. The developer did give it me anyway as I was running around the game. So thank you so much for their support and help. Going into the neighbourhood, and I mean you can't miss this one. <laughs> it's absolutely huge. <laughs> but there is Housewoman Face. I am hoping that they do something with the disco house. I mean, you could have DJ, speaker, vinyl, 
Um, there's loads of stuff you could do just to fill that house out. But in the house next door to Disco in the pink house, this is where you find the key for the employee door in the city. So you'll see the key at the bottom when you've collected it. Literally take it back to the door, it will open and you can go inside. I'm assuming Egg is in here, but obviously if it's a character I've already got, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Making our way to the beach and that Moai woman face is so weird looking, but I sort of wish there was a Moai with those massive lips. <laughs> In winter, we have Igloo. And then going into the cabin, this is where we find light bulb. In Candyland, the only one that's here is the new Oreo. So on the arch, you can see it. If you are using the coil, you're gonna to have to take that off to click the Oreo in order to get teleported. And then where Volcano Candy and sort of the Magic Forest all meet, we find Emo looking at the water out the back of Volcano there. into Magic Forest and this is where the developer has used a lovely kind of bit of wasted space that would normally just have been left. So obviously when you go to the witch's house you use the teleport to go there. However if you just make your way through the door we find Cube. Love that. But then if we do teleport inside the house and I did say that obviously it didn't feel quite like a witch's house and this has had an uplift as well. This is much more like what I would think of a witch's house in the inside. Absolutely love this facelift to this area. We've got the cauldrons bubbling with the sparkles. We've got our spider webs. I love it. We find the web in the corner. And then inside of the pot, we will find the chicken nuggets. Making our way to the woman's wonderland. Outside the car park, we have the shocked face. Going inside of this sort of brown building, um, so the developer has uplifted this as well, just a little bit. So instead of the black squares now, at least there's sofas, um, and obviously one of them has the pillow woman face. I still wouldn't buy an apartment if it was just big enough for a sofa and a lamp. <laughs> This is also a new building that has been added to this area. And on the back we have a riddle, so what is in front of you but can't be seen? And the answer is the future. It was slightly glitchy to get the, um, the box to type up, but just keep with it, it will come up. And then we get teleported to the library. Again, this is a lovely little area. Again, if you wanted to bring some more of like the actual character woman faces in, you could have librarian, obviously telling you to shh. <laughs> we have scroll. I don't know, last time I went to a library and found a scroll, but okay. <laughs> so 
So we find bookshelf. And what we also have in the library is CD. So I was, that's compact disc, you used to shove it in the computer, you used to put like music on it for people who don't know what CD is. <laughs> I'm a dinosaur, so yes, I do know what one of those are. And I was looking around, I thought it was in the corner perhaps, and one of the bookcases moved. And clicking on this bookcase here, it opens up. Yes, it did trap me. Um, so if you do get trapped, just turn around and click on the bookcase again. But I would have to say that this is one of my favourites. I don't think I've ever seen a bookcase open up like that in one of these games. I love that. So yeah, credit to the developer, that is awesome. Inside the credits room, um, obviously you can see where people have recommended ones, but we also have a code door. So around the map, you will see the color coded numbers. So I got all but one and so thought I'd just do a matter of kind of process of elimination and the code is 883914. You could almost do an identical map but with a man face instead of the, the, the generic woman face. On top of the cafe we have the vents and here we will also find the pancake and then this is a bit of a quiz so the main ingredient in pancakes is flour you typically eat pancakes well I like them anyway but typically it's breakfast so we have pancake it's pancake day or shrove Tuesday I don't call it pancake Tuesday <laughs> And then making our way just back round the credits, we're finding Grass Woman Face. I love that this one is separate from the grass at the front of this area, so it does make you look for it. And then where we found Flip Flop on the obby, we go around the bridges to find Skibbity Toilets. Shame that one doesn't actually look like the character but with the woman face on it. In the farm, it is literally raining tacos. And now I'm gonna have that song stuck in my head. That is such an earworm. I literally can't say raining tacos without start singing it. And then finally making our way to the volcanic fields and we need to go down into the caverns. So the caverns is where we found all sort of the gold and the silver and the coal and the rocks. And no, I did think, I was hoping it was going to be that easy that that TNT right where you spawn in was going to be the one. It's not. You're going to have to make your way inside of the caverns. And there we go, there it is. Another great update from this developer. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you real soon for the next update. Bye.